Lynn Cangelosi, who graduated from Wesleyan College with a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology and from the Health Careers Program at Harvard University. Prior to entering nursing, she worked as a clinical research coordinator at Children's Hospital Boston. Aislinn entered Wyzen this past September to fulfill her goal of becoming a pediatric nurse practitioner.
As Casey was coming to from the anesthesia, her chest began to rise off the table, her back arched and her neck flushed red with effort. She didn't make a sound. Her body just heaved upward slowly and came back down to the table. With each breath, her chest would rise and her back would arch, as if someone was pushing her up from below. Cough, Casey, the surgeon encouraged. The surgeon cupped her hands and started pounding on Casey's chest like a drum. She hit her hard, and Casey's apple watermelon curls bounced about on the table. The surgeon pounded again and again, harder and harder, then paused, took her cupped hands away, and said again, Cough, Casey! You can do it! Casey's chest heaved, and the demanding cough escaped loud and hard. <laughs> Casey brought her hand up to cover her mouth. As I can only imagine, she's done countless times a day for 17 years, and I saw her painted fingernails. She wore a glossy cherry red on her light bulb-shaped fingertips. Her nails bulged from their beds as the fingers below demanded more oxygen that her lungs couldn't deliver. She took several minutes to cough, and the surgical team encouraged her with gentle smiles and pats on her back. As her cough diminished and her awareness returned, Casey smiled back at her audience. 